I'm excited. I'm trying HelloFresh today for the very first time ever. Don't be afraid, baby. You don't hear that automatic sss. Like, I need that sss. I need that sizzle, baby. I need that sizzle. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, hello, fresh. Jesus, bust it up. I'm a rock star, smash my guitar. Could come through on that bigger jet. Make niggas stare at my hands, even though I am not my man. to the channel with your Tara Brianne. If you don't know, now you know when we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So in today's video, we are cooking, girl, and I'm excited. I'm trying HelloFresh today for the very first time ever. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Comment down below. Talk to your girl. And let's jump right into today's video. Do y'all see this big box? I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to give y'all a little story time on how I even decided to try this out. It was actually by accident. <laughs> and I don't know what I got myself into, girl, but I'm starving right now. I just came home from the gym. Just took a shower. And I got this little ballerina ass bun in my hair right now. So please disregard that, okay? Because... I didn't know what to do with my hair. It wasn't trying to cooperate. Like I said, I just came from the gym. But anyways, I'm opening my package. I'm so excited. Let me get some like behind the scenes clips because y'all can't see what's going on with the whole way I got y'all set up right now. So hold on. Crazy that this is on top because this is what I will be cooking today. Yeah! I'm excited. So we got the goods, y'all. I'm pulling out the food right now. Y'all just heard me screech too because I'm probably gonna click that keep that clip in here, but I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Look at this, y'all. This is food. I got food delivered to my home. I didn't do the grocery shopping myself. What? I didn't pick the meals myself either. And we're gonna get into that. Let me take a mental break. Let me let me get myself together. Okay, so let's talk about why I decided to do this. And I'm gonna keep it short because I know. Huh, I know how y'all attention span goes. Basically, I was watching YouTube. I was watching Aaliyah's face to be exact. Hey, girl, hey, if you ever see this video, I love you, girl. You're like my sis in another lifetime. But I was watching her, and HelloFresh needs to run up their coin and give her some money because she's a very good salesman, like salesperson, all right? So she got me to go over to their diagonal website and i was looking around i'm looking at the i'm looking at the options okay i'm looking at the options of the food choices that they give you at the basic price because i want to pay the basic price i ain't trying to pay no upcharge you know what i'm saying and i was like ew i don't like the food choices i'm a very picky eater i'm not a very picky eater actually i'm a fat i'm very fat so it's not about me being picky it's about this is just out of my comfort zone i'm not used to Looking at food options like this, I don't, I don't know. I got scared, okay? So I exited off the page. But keep in mind, you have to put in your credit card information, your shipping address before you even get to look at the food choices. And I think that's whack. It's very smart on their behalf, but that's how I fell into it, girl. I didn't even know that I was ordering this until I got a charge on my card. <laughs> do keep in mind that i canceled that subscription already i was like before y'all take another 40 dollars from me next week um let's see how i like it so i am now going to tell you guys what's going on in this package and what we're going to be cooking today okay because i know y'all attention span is like a child i love tacos to death so this is the only option i said i would like I'm going to show y'all the other options. I was like, ew. I ain't going to come to you. When I saw the other options, I was like, no. Like, what are these? Big meatballs? I don't want that. A sriracha coating. Uh, I'm not into that. You know what I'm saying? Brussels sprouts. They probably good, but like, meatloaf? Like, no. Like, this is the stuff that like... These options just wasn't not fit in my taste buds. I don't care for meatloaf. I'm never going to make meatloaf on my own. I'll make meatballs if they go on with my spaghetti. But other than that, I'm not trying to make no meatballs. Chicken over spaghetti. I'm like, no. Like, it's just not given. Is it just me? So, I don't know. 
I'm going to tell you guys the pros and the cons list that I think I have already going into trying Hello Fresh, but we will see if they change my mind at the end of the day. Okay, you guys, so I switched over to a different angle, and like I said, today I'm making the one pan pork carnitas tacos, and this is the bag that it comes in. So let's see what's inside of here. So this is everything that came inside of the bag, but wait, hold on, because there was a separate bag with ice with like the meat products underneath. So on my mental, I do like how they make sure the meats are separate. No cross contamination if anything leaks out. We love that. And they put a big bag of ice so nothing melts. So very cool. All right, so now I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna wash my veggies because I know these things is dirty. So one good thing about HelloFresh is if you don't know how to cook or you don't feel like too confident in the kitchen, baby, they give you all the steps. Y'all can't see my face, but I'm gonna do a cute little like, you know, montage of me cooking. And then um, as I'm eating the food with y'all, I'm gonna get into my pros and cons and see if my, um, my opinion changes. So yeah. to pickle it in the vinegar that they gave me and some salt and some sugar how y'all know i got salt and sugar i may have not had salt and sugar i feel like you need to give me all the ingredients like what Okay, y'all, boom. So I had to move y'all over here because we are about to cook our ground pork. And to be honest, this is nothing fancy. So you're going to see my lovely face for this part of the tutorial or cooking video, whatever, because the whole been and now situation was ghetto, honey. Can I do that anymore? So yeah, y'all, while my pan heats up, I'm about to get into why I wanted to do HelloFresh. So I'm going to tell y'all the pros. I'm also going to tell y'all the cons because this ain't no sponsored video, so I get to be completely honest. Like, I'm always honest, but this is about to hit different because I get passionate about food. Okay? Let's be honest. So, why I wanted to do HelloFresh. I told y'all earlier that I was coming from the gym, so I'm trying to grow up, become a woman, you know what I'm saying, and get on my healthy lifestyle. So, I want to make better food choices. And as you can see... A lot of the food choices from HelloFresh are fresh. It's not fast food. It's not soul food. Um, it's not that type of food that's going to give you the itis and, you know, make you want to lay down after you eat. It's going to be good, fresh ingredients. And that's what I'm looking to grab toward. That's what I want to reach towards more. You know what I'm saying? I cook healthy on my own. But I also don't like grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping. So, boom, this does it for you. You know what I'm saying? So, it, I feel like HelloFresh really appeals to the lazy individuals because if you don't feel like grocery shopping, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to leave your door, baby. It gets delivered to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, groceries are expensive. This was $36 for four meals. I think that's fantastic. And then you have, like, leftover produce. Like, I, got, I still got a half an onion. You know what I'm saying? That's too many poblanos. I shouldn't have did the whole one. <laughs> I shouldn't have cut up that whole one. But... 
you know you get extra food and 36 dollars for four meals is fantastic because i was just on uber east the other day and i got some sushi delivered it was mid hello let's talk about that it was mid and it was 30 dollars you know like $25 for the food. It was like $22 for the food, $8 for delivery. So nobody got time for that. So if you don't feel like doing much, you want to be healthy or have healthier options always in your house. And you want something that's packaged and ready to go for you. So you don't have to think too much about, oh, dang, I forgot that ingredient at the grocery store. I ain't going back. Or oh, my grocery store is out of that ingredient. You know, you don't have to worry about all that stuff. So, Okay, my pan is hot now. It's telling me to drizzle some olive oil in a large pan. Baby, what if I have no olive oil? Because I don't. I got vegetable oil. See, I feel like y'all need to give me all the ingredients. And when it comes to meat, like, bro, your pan has to be hella hot. Like, don't burn it. But I don't like when meat gets put into the pan. And you don't hear that automatic sss. Like, I need that sss. I need that sizzle, baby. I need that sizzle. And y'all, it's okay. We will have to tweak some things because it says to add the pork and season with salt and pepper. Baby, that's it. No, 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 no. Let me tell y'all what I'm gonna use in addition to some other things. This McCormick taco season, okay? Now or hotter? Cause what you mean, salt and pepper? That's nice. I'm going to get some clips um, with my phone camera too. So y'all not just looking at me. It's still a cooking video. So don't get discouraged, mama. I'm going to tell y'all what I put in my food. I'm excited. All right. I ain't going to go too crazy with the seasonings. You know, actually, I'm going to keep it a little, keep it a little simple. Just a little garlic, a little onion powder. You know what I'm saying? This complete season, this is what I call everything season. This, to me, this is the healthier version of seasoning. So, um, I'm going to put some paprika because I like the way it makes my food look. Ain't nothing about the taste. And, like I said, this is like uh, a third of the seasoning pack from the last time I used this. So, boom shakalaka. And, like I said, you got the ground pork right here. I would never go towards pork. The only pork I be eating for for real is bacon. Like, I don't like pork chops and stuff. But, yeah. Bow, bow, bow. And y'all, don't look at this mess right here. I'm going to clean it. Okay? Okay. All right. I think it's about that time to put my ground pork in the pan. Ew, I don't want the blood juices to get in my pan. Please. Krisha, please. Yes, I heard. You hear that sister? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. I'll be watching Ari, Ari the Dong, cow sister. I'll be watching her do her little cooking videos. And I'll be like, I know she, but it sucks having to worry about what people think as you cook. Because everybody got the pan. But to be honest, if you worried about that, then baby, you worried about too much. Because people won't have an opinion regardless of what you do. But, but yeah, another good Thing. Another pro that comes along with um, HelloFresh is the portion sizes. So I'm trying to cut down on portion sizes because, baby, my midsection right now is a bit too chunky. Like, if I'm be honest with myself. Honey, we need to slim down, okay? She said she's dropping 10 pounds preparing for summer. <coughs> I'm going to show y'all in the next clip, like, how small... This portion of ground pork is right now in my pan. I would never only use this much meat. When I cook, I think I get this from my mom. I tend to cook for a whole village, and I don't understand why. Pork without seasoning don't even give you no smell. Like, ew. Like, look at this itty bitty amount of food right now. So, yeah, I don't know what they're talking about with salt and pepper, but definitely about to season my stuff up with my onion, my garlic. I feel like. Onion and garlic goes in everything, and you can't have one without the other. That's just how I feel. Also, I know there's a lot of sodium in the McCormick packet. They gave me some Southwest packet. I don't know what that is right now, baby, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. I like cooking with y'all. Comment down below if I should do this more because it feels like I'm cooking on FaceTime, and I tend to do that with my boyfriend. 
So, comment down below if you want more cooking videos, baby. Alright, y'all, so I've been over here cooking or whatever. I done changed some ingredients, child. I done added butter. Ain't nobody tell me to do that. Uh, they talking about half of the tomato paste. Girl, I did all of it. You know, you just gotta change your stuff up. Because, at the end of the day, you want the food to taste like you cooked it. I don't want no store-bought stuff that I need to add flavor to. You know, so you know, let's do a little taste test, honey. Can you see? Can you see? Ow, let's do a little taste test. Hot. Oh, hot. Good. That tastes good. I can cook. Stop playing with the kid. Oh, God. While Philly cooks in a small bowl, combine the sour cream, a bit of the onion pickle liquid to taste. I think I just like my sour cream by itself, baby. I don't think I need all that. I may add your little chipotle powder. I might do that. I might do that. Wait, let's do that. But I don't got time. Why do you want me to put the, oh, the pickling liquid. Ew, that's what that was for? You want my sour cream to be pickly? I don't think I agree with that. This little bit of sour cream, girl, this is not enough. That's another thing. If you know you picked a specific meal, And it's tacos. Make sure you're going to have the extra stuff that you like. I like a lot of sour cream. Who is this going to feed? Ew. I don't know why I just ate that. Sour cream by itself is disgusting. Ooh, that was a lot. Mm. Ooh, that was a lot of powder. If you haven't liked this video yet, what you doing, baby? Because I know I'm entertaining. So don't even do me. This looks like mud. I think I poured entirely too much chipotle and it smells terrible because i hate the way vinegar smells what is this i'm glad i got some sour cream in the fridge girl let me put that into this because mm. girl why did my sour cream just come on me this is disrespectful I think I'm going to dub their whole little sour cream situation, baby. I just need regular sour cream, okay? Honey, it looks like we're done. Did I miss anything? You got the pork fill and the tomatoes. That's it. And I'm going to use my own sour cream, girl. Child, let me put my tortillas in our microwave. What? I'm about to eat. And I'm about to throw this down the sink. Nasty ass. Okay, y'all, so while I'm over here filling up my tacos, can y'all see me? I'm going to talk to y'all about the cons when it comes to dealing with their online website. You know, so first off, why do I got to give y'all my address and my credit card information just so I know what kind of food choices y'all have for me to pick through? Like, I don't like that. It's like I said earlier, it's very smart on their behalf because y'all got an accidental customer out of me, baby. But, like, if I didn't say, if I didn't click my meals and I said press save and I said, you know, go ahead and take my money, I don't need y'all doing that for me. I felt like that was very rude. Like, to be honest, can't even come to you. Oh, my God, my battery's dying. One moment, though. Okay, boom, we're back in action. So, like I said, I thought that was rude. Another thing that I think is rude or just something to consider, I would say is something to consider is if you're picky like me and, you know, when you go out to eat, if you're anything like me, you tend to change up the menu that you have in front of you. You know what I'm saying? You say, oh, let me add on this. You know it's going to be upcharged, but you're fat like me, and you like food, and you're going to get what you want at the end of the day. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You know you want that surf and turf, and you don't want the broccoli and the rice pilaf that they offer you, but you want the baked mac and cheese and asparagus. Yeah, that's me, baby. And you know it's an upcharge, but when it comes to upcharging on HelloFresh, I feel like their prices are a bit much. And that's what scared me away from ordering on purpose, I would say. I saw them upcharges and I was like, well, if that's the case, I don't like any of 
the meals that y'all are providing me with. Like, I don't like the options. So, that I would just say that's something to consider because no one is going to give you better food options for free. I know that. That's not what I'm asking. But I would like to have known the choices before I put my credit card info in. Boom. I think that's fair. Okay. I like the concept so much that I think I just may do this again. I'm going to do a little upcharges so I can get the best bang for my buck and I get food that I actually like. But y'all, at least let me pick my items. You know what I'm saying? I hope that's making sense. Overall, I kind of like this experience though. Like having my food delivered to me and stuff like that. I think that's cool. I ain't even gonna cap to you. I really hope I like these pickled onions because I'm putting them all in my tacos right now. What's next? I need my cheese and I need my sour cream. Interact with me, baby. Comment down below if y'all like these cooking videos. Hey, y'all probably heard me talk about cooking so much. Y'all probably like, can she cook herself for real? I can do a little something, okay? Ask about me. I feel like I can do a little something in the kitchen. Baby, I come from a caterer. My mom has a catering business. I'm putting you on, boom. Hey, mama, she needs her own home cooking. Baby, I'm going to put her on. Um, I'm going to shout her out and put her uh. Her Instagram handle in my description box below because my mama can cook, honey. I need to help her with her social media game. If we been, if I'm keeping a buck with y'all, my mama can cook, okay? All my friends have like personalized favorite meals that she creates because she cooks so freaking good. Um, so yeah. One thing y'all did not give me was no taco sauce. Glad I got taco sauce in my refrigerator. See, another con. Y'all don't give me all the ingredients and I don't like that. I will say they give you the, you cannot eat this without ingredients, but I need all the extra fixings, okay? Like, they don't give you the fixings. I think that's a perfect way to put it. And if you're anything like me, when it comes to food, you're particular. Like, I can't eat Chipotle without the dressing. Like, that is, I have literally walked out. I have, I have stayed in the whole line. Did my whole order with Chipotle before, and I walked out at the end when they asked me for my credit card because I was like, three side addresses, please. And she was like, we're out. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm going to use some Ortega. About a quarter to three. I guess I got to take some pictures too because I need a thumbnail. Okay, you guys, so I'm sure I'm probably putting, oh, this could be a little thumbnail, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, you guys, these are my tacos. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, hello, fresh. Hold on now. You might have did a little something. But let's see for sure and let's do a taste test. Because, baby, and I feel these tacos up crazy. Hold on. This is probably going to be real messy, but I want y'all to see me try the food. Let me do it over here so I don't mess up another one of the tacos. Cheers. These is busting them. Ground pork tasting like this? And you see, you gotta change stuff up because they told me in the, in the uh, instructions to drain my meat out. No, baby. Pork gets dry. But I had a nasty dry pork chop. Disgusting. Pork gets dry, so I kept the oil in and I added more. I added butter. Girl. But this is good. Like, just get into the inside. Come on, camera quality. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my food. I'm going to wrap this video up. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this meal. And I would 10 out of 10 recommend everything that HelloFresh comes with. I just think I would have to play around with the food options and choices. I would probably give myself a limit of like $55 per round. Because like you pay, I think you pay like $55. Like you pay whatever price your meals are weekly. You know what I'm saying? So it's a reoccurring fee. So for $36 for four meals, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. So 
you know, I may try them out again. Just give myself a, t uh, a price limit and make sure that I get the food options I want. Because this was the only food option that I was actually excited about. So yeah, hopefully they like upgrade their stuff or maybe I should try another plan. Because this plan was the meats and veggies one. I don't think I told you guys that. Um, I spent 30 $7 rounding up four meals. The other meals I did not like. Chicken, spaghetti, meatballs. And what was the other one? I don't even know. I don't even remember. See, if, if the food option isn't memorable, baby, then that's how you know I don't want it. But yeah, you guys, I think this round of HelloFresh was a success. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam, and I will see y'all in the next video. Comment down below what you want me to cook next, okay? And it can be anything because I'll probably cook it myself besides doing hella fresh but yeah thank y'all so much see you in the next one bye mamas Mwah.